Hi everyone, welcome back. I have a very exciting video today, and I have a super cute little cutter as well, it's a little bone one, and he cuts so well, that's why I thought I would um, show you. This is a collab video where, um, where a shop called Fez Josma has reached out to me, and I, I apologise if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, and they've asked me if I would like to review a couple of items for them, so wow, they're packaged so lovely. <laughs> Uh, so here they are, and I thought I would open them with you and um, do a quick little review of these products, and then I'm going to use them in, in upcoming videos. So it came with these really lovely little bookmarks. Are they bookmarks or are they stickers? They have a really cool feel. Um, so here's the Arc de Triomphe and the Eiffel Tower here on the side as well, and here's another one with the Eiffel Tower. Paris, happy time, thinking of you and wishing you all of life's best today and always. Oh, that's really sweet. They are gorgeous. Love those. And we have a couple of postcards as well. Um, this one says Merry Tree. And this one also, okay, must be a brand with these um, rooftops as well. Wow, very cool. And as you can see, I have two pack two products here. Um, so let's put that one to the side. We'll start with this one. I'm very excited about this one. So this shop makes uh, leather goods and they sell exclusively on Amazon at the moment. And wow, how cool. Um, I was allowed to choose whatever I wanted from their lineup. So I chose this one and that one as you can see. But this is a Field Notes cover and I got it in the brown leather. There's brown wine and coffee and coffee is almost black and yeah I just thought I would try these out and see what they were like. Mm, they smell like leather. <laughs> okay so here's the shop name in, um, embossed on the inside here and you can see it's raw leather. It's Fez Josma. We've got three card slots, sorry two card slots here and then this is a very long pen loop. That's very interesting. Uh, let's see. I have my Klenner pen here. We'll see if it will fit. Yes, it does fit. Um, oopsie. Yeah, that fits. Pokes out the top a little. And it's pretty snug. I might need a skinnier pen. Um, and then you pop your field notes in under this cover. So I just happen to have three field notes books here with me. So I'm going to grab this one. This is the copper. And you can see, hopefully, it's got a copper colored dot there as well. Um, got a copper on the edges too. So I'm just going to slip that in there so you can see it fits perfectly. It's made just for field notes. So it's a perfect size for that. And um, what other pens do I have? I have a Kiki K. Um, this is a much skinnier pen. That fits much more nicely in there. And it's copper as well, so that kind of works. Okay, that's good. And I'm just wondering if I have anything business card sized that I can pop in there. I do have one of my Coffee Monsters Co. vinyls. We could just pop him, pop him in there just to give it a bit of cuteness. <laughs> that's pretty adorable. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's the Field Notes cover. That's pretty cool. Um, doesn't have a closure, which I don't know if that bothers me or not. I have an idea of what I want to use this for, and I'm really keen to see how it kind of ages over time. You can see there where the pen loop is, it has a line forming. So, yeah, I'm keen to see how this ages over time. Now, you know this is really not my usual kind of thing. I'm very pink and pastel. Well, not really. I've got a lot of different stuff now as well. But I was just super keen to try the real leather, like the the dark leathers, just to see what they are like. I think that is going to be an interesting process. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think about this. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I, my plan is, let me, should I tell you my plan? <laughs> I'll tell you my plan. Um, I drink coffee every day and I usually buy a coffee on the way to work and I've thought about so many different coffee shops in my area. I'm going to try a different coffee every day and just write some notes about it. And I thought, what other way to do that? What better way to do that than in something like this? This is super quick and easy to pop in my handbag and take with me. 
and I'll be able to just make some quick notes in here and then what I thought I might do is take photos of the coffee as well and document that in a scrapbooking way in a different book so that's kind of the idea I'm just wondering does another notebook fit in this side not really okay I, I don't need to have two I'm just curious about what fits no probably not I'll leave it as it is yeah, so I thought that might be a cute idea to do, um, and yeah, who, who knows? So let's deck it out with some other things. I've got my, I've got a um, pouch here that has, I thought I might use that. So what I was actually thinking with this book, but obviously it's not going to work now that I've seen, I was going to put my um, Caveco ballpoint pen in there because I think that goes very nicely or even the fountain pen but it's too thick what if I was to just use the pen loop yeah it's still I would feel like it wouldn't be protected unfortunately so I'm going to just stick with the Kiki K ballpoint I'm not a big fan of this particular pen um, but for now I'm just going to pop that in there just so we can see it's pretty cute, right, with this little um, little heart sticking out the top there. And if you wanted to keep it closed, you could always use a clip of some kind, like this massive one might be a bit of overkill, but that's an option, right? And you can tuck things under there as well if you wanted to. So let's say you were you had some notes or something you just wanted to pop in, you could just use use this. Uh, clip. I want the um, Eiffel Tower on top. You could just use the clip to do that. I think that's pretty cute, right? And I've never used the field note size before, so that's kind of cool for me to try, I think, as well. Uh, right, I'm not super sure I'm going to leave this big clip on here. I think it's going to mark the leather quite quickly. Um, I might just put this one on the back in case I do want to keep it on here for the moment because it is pretty cute and it does hold it closed. Um, yeah I think that's pretty cute all right so stick with me uh, for the next product here as well and also come back and have a look at how I have set this up and used it um, this is obviously just me playing on the very first day of opening it but I think it's I think it's very cute uh, and yeah I'm really keen to see how this leather changes over time it's already um, showing a little bit of like wear uh, on the crease area of the spine as well so okay that's that let's grab the second one now this one I'm really keen to see what the color looks like because I think I told you there's coffee um, chocolate I'm not sure now I can't remember um, the brown one and then wine so the other one I got was the wine color I think yes it is all right let's have a look Wow this is so cool so different to what I usually use right um, I just wanted to try it out I thought it was really cool and it's um it's so raw you know it's a very most of the things I use are very kind of finished and um, you know some of them are plastic even I just liked the idea of trying something that was so sturdy and raw I really love the kind of rawness and I really want to see how it looks in photos as well all right, so we have an, a nice closure here, very sturdy closure here. I wasn't sh aware that it came with inserts, so let's have a look at what's inside. Oh, okay, so we have a zipper here. Well, sorry, let's say, first of all, this is a six ring binder. It's a personal size planner. Um, it has silver hardware in terms of the rings, but then we have this kind of... Um, Oh, I don't even know what to call that. It's kind of brass, even kind of zipper here. And the zipper works very well, as you can tell. Um, that's a decent amount of space in there. It goes all the way to the edge. And then we have a little secretarial pocket. And again, a little spot there to pop something. I'll grab another little Coffee Monsters Co. vinyl just to add something to it. Let's go with this one. So you can just see how that how um, wide that pocket is there but that's just business card size right okay now it comes with this little um, card holder here so you can fit three business cards in there uh, from this side 
and then we have like a creamy coloured paper give you a close up there of the paper and uh, let's see how thick we think it is actually that's pretty nice it's maybe maybe 100 GSM it's quite thick paper so we've got a ton of it here looks like we've got blank and lined I'll just split them up so we can see the difference about the same of each by the looks of it and what do we have in the back here in the back we have a uh, zippered pocket here as well with one of those um, very handy zips and right at the back we have a slot where you can pop something in I'll just throw a field notes in just to show you what it looks like but obviously that's a bit big oh, it's a bit small but still that's not a bad idea really and we have a pen loop that's that is not elasticized so let's try the cleaner again in this one because it does look bigger yeah that's way bigger and that fits in there quite nicely um, what might be nice though is my new Sarasa Grand um, in the Bordeaux oh yeah that's very nice and that would go in there like so and yep it sits nicely up against the pages very nice actually yeah very nice actually I reckon I would I'll just put this at the back I just kind of I'd, I like the idea of the top just being that say that one width whereas the card holder um, sort of sticks out further so I would put those until I was all set up I'd put this at the back I wonder if they sell those separately I'll have a look and see okay so there we have the wine colored personal planner now let me just jump on the website for you and I'll show you so I'm here on Amazon. This is um, Amazon Australia, but uh, as I said, they ship internationally. So you can see here they have a leather cover that has a slot at the top for your things to go in. They have this really cool little tray um, and a folio cover that's six by nine for steno pads. We have luggage tags as well. Here's my field notes one. Oops. Here's, here's my field notes one. And you can see they've put the pen in the loop there just like I have and then here is a leather writing journal notebook a6 travelers notebook with pockets it says let's have a look at that and that looks quite so that one looks quite similar to the one that I have here but um, I'm not sure it says a6 but uh, and it looks the same as this picture but it's not A6 um, yeah I think maybe that that wording is wrong there it actually is um, this one is the is the uh, personal size I'll just grab a personal size planner so we can compare so here I have my Kiki K um, met you planner and if I just grab something out of it like a page out of it to compare the sizes yeah so that's personal size page fits in there perfectly so this is definitely a personal sized planner but you can see that overall it is much more compact than a traditional planner when I say traditional ones that I would normally use so these these puffy old kiki k's which I adore of course but um, they do take up a lot of space they're very bulky and quite uh, thick so um, this is very cool in that it has really really thin kind of feeling um, and very compact to take with you I love that idea so let's just add I don't know if this is the right color to add to this particular one but I'll just add it anyway just for fun just to give it a bit of decoration on the front yeah I really quite like it um, I don't have a specific use in mind right now for this particular planner but I feel like I'm gonna have to because it is really lovely I mean it is really lovely it's it's very different from my usual um, and I just love this wine color I think it's gorgeous let's get the two of them together 
I think they're just beautiful. Wow, um, not what I expected, I have to say. I wasn't quite, obviously, uh, actually, I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but um, I'm definitely pleasantly surprised. I think they are really lovely quality um, products, and I'm super keen to find out whether you, whether you check them out or not. Um, I don't have a discount code or anything um, for them. It's purely they just wanted me to review them and show you show you them on my channel and see what you thought. So I did receive these for free, but I um, didn't receive any payment and I don't have any ongoing affiliation or anything. It's simply just to show you and if you like it, then you, you can pick them up yourselves as well. Um, there's no benefit to me. Except that I got to keep these two beautiful journal. I mean, look at them. They're absolutely stunning. I can't even. They're just really, really lovely. I, I love, I just love them. I think they're gorgeous. So this one is going to make us make its way into my world on Monday. Um, first day of coffee tasting. So um, it's just going to be a scribble book. Like nothing pretty happening in here. Just scribbling in, in this notebook. Um, <laughs> I love this little guy. So yeah, we'll see. I might replace this with something coffee related uh, since it's going to be a coffee book. Um, yeah, I've seen a few people do a consumption journal and I love, I love the idea of a, so let me tell you what that means. A consumption journal, um, from what I've seen people use them for is a journal where you write about things that you've consumed, be that food or drink, but also media. So TV, uh, podcasts, YouTube, movies, etc. And I really liked that idea. I just don't like the word consumption because it brings up ideas of horrible illnesses in the 19th century so I if I do do that it's not going to be called a consumption journal I've seen people do media journals which look like quite fun as well but I really love the idea of just coffee I am a coffee addict it's who I am I can't help myself so that's what I'll be doing in this one and this I don't know. I Let me know what you think. What would you use it for if you had this gorgeous thing in your collection? I'm super keen to hear from you, as always. Um, but yeah, at the moment it'll sit on my shelf until I decide what to use it for. But if you have any ideas, please let me know. I'm super keen to hear. Okay, guys, I think that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much to Fasjosma. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing. Uh, for sending me these two gorgeous things. I'm very grateful and I think they're gorgeous. Um, I think you can tell that. I honestly do believe that they are really lovely. Really lovely. I love the rawness of them, which again is very different to my usual. So it's nice to have something a bit different in my collection. Again, let me know what you think. Can't wait to hear from you. And uh, if you do pick them up, of course, tell me. I'd love to hear more about what you think of them and how you're using them. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all again super, super soon. Bye.